All right. Tutorial on variable scope. So what is a variable scope to begin with? Well, every every variable has a scope. So it means you can you can't use everything, every variable everywhere. And um, for example, when we are writing a function, and this is our example function, we are not I'm not going to explain explain what it does line by line, but basically it takes the sum of a vector, uh, each element of the vector. So uh, let's let's try it out and let me show you with an example instead of just me talking all the time. So this is our output argument. This is uh, my sum. So let's say my sum uh, from 1 to 10. So the result is 55, right? But here's the thing. Where's our sum? You don't see it in workspace. Let me call who. Your variables are amps. What? What? I had our sum. It was here and vec. So where are they? The thing is, those are local variables. What it means is that they're defined here and there. Um, their reign ends here, right? They can be. Uh, you can use them here, but after this end, you cannot use them at all. Okay, it's done. Well, that's not true for this because this is a for loop, so you can use i after the after the end. But for the function, they are defined here, then they will stay here, and that's how we can use like a number instead of vec for our sum. Let me let me do something like that. Clearing CLC. Let's say uh, our sum instead of our sum. Let's say uh, my sum. My sum with uh, with a different way, and my sum is my function, and let's say from one with the Step size two to the one hundred. All right. So my sum is two thousand five hundred, right? But you see, it's my sum. Where's our sum? It's it's not there. So you see, uh, when you're defining a local, when you're when you're creating a function, you need to know that everything inside a function is a local variable. You cannot use them outside of your function. But the case is different when it comes to scripts. So here's my script before I, uh, here's a script that I created before. It calculates the area of a, of a circle and the perimeter of a circle. So you might think, well, it's the same thing because we created here in the new, by using the new file function. Well, it's not the case and you're going to see it now. Area of, sorry, of circle, circle, enter radius, let's say 10. Oh my God, who? Look, our variables are area, perimeter radius. They are, they are here, so they are not local. So the key distinction is that when you're defining a function, your variables will be local, so they will not um, uh, mess up all this workspace with uh, different variables here. But when you're creating a script, well, you should be you should be ready to see a lot of different variables in your workspace, especially if you're working with a lot of variables, which I do when I write code. So it will be a much better choice to create a function if you have a lot of variables and if you want it to be more modular, because as you can see here, our way of taking an input is really primitive. So I would definitely prefer creating a function instead of a script. Um, I think that's all about it. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video, right? I think I said.